I'm here with Andrew Bordesio and of course Andrew does some beautiful wood carvings as you can see. Hi Andy, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing John? I'm fine. Now we're looking at some of your work over here. Very tropical, beautiful, vibrant colors and of course the carving, stunning. So first of all, let me ask you, how did you get involved in the carving business and how long have you been doing this for? Well, I've been developing this craft for the last 10 years. And what got me involved, you know the saying, idle hands are the devil's workshop? Yes. <laughs> well, this is a blessing from Jehovah to mm. keep my hands active. <laughs> okay. So, um, I always loved carvings. Mm -hmm. I always loved art. Yes, my yes. sister, my older sister exposed me to art at a very early age. Yes. And um, she always said she left some of it in the womb for me. And um, <laughs> painting, I was always afraid of painting, mm -hmm. but I got an opportunity to do a carving workshop at Eurovic Art Studios about oh, yes. 10 years ago, back mm -hmm. in 2001. Mm -hmm. Two weeks, I associated with the top carvers on the island, yes. plus a, a master carver from Jamaica. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when I left that workshop, I got a lot of experience being with the guys. And yeah. through the years, I've been trying and trying and trying to do different things. Mm -hmm. um, one of my motivations was to do something different. Yes. You go to the market and you see what, what has been offered to the tourists. Um, it's almost always the same thing. The yes. same theme, pitons, the masks. And I want to do something a little different. Mm -hmm. Something that hasn't been done right. in St. Lucia before. Yes. Yes. So, with the birds, my first bird I carved was this part here. And, um, the Amazon Versicolor. Of course, Beautiful. Amazon Versicolor. And you gave him, is that an apple in his mouth? Or? It's mm -hmm. supposed to be a fruit that's indigenous in St. Mm -hmm. Lucia that they actually eat. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's not in its natural setting because you mm -hmm. see a hibiscus next to it. But it's right. just something pretty right. for the tourists that yes. they would like. Yes. And then I decided to go into the, the hummingbirds. Yes. And I did Always a line. Beautiful. Thank the you. Hummingbirds are beautiful birds. Oh, mm -hmm. so you're complimenting them, not me. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh, good, so it's, good, good. it's good, it's good, it's good, it's <laughs> good, it's good. So these are um, an endemic hummingbird mm -hmm. in St. Lucia. It's a purple-breasted carib. And Beautiful. they're all over the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And I did them with different flowers. For example, we have uh, Helicona caribia. We have yes, the lobster yes. claw heliconia. We have our yellow heliconia we call the bird of paradise. Always love the heliconia, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I actually grew some in my garden. So I had some, the real colors and the real right, shapes to, right. to work with. Yes. And it's something Caribbean. Very Caribbean. You know? Very ca Caribbean. Yeah. Now I'm looking at the parrot and I'm seeing, I mean, I don't know if the viewers can see, but this is so intricate. I mean, when you feel it, you can feel where you made the, indent the indentations. Even this. How long did this take? How long did that take me? I think it took me a night, you know. Really? Just to do the feathers here. But the, the, feathers, the yeah. entire parrot probably because it's it's a hobby mm -hmm. and i have a, a full-time job and i do it let's say like every other night right, and when i right. get a chance yes. i think it probably took me about a month just to complete that whole right. piece okay. but then with the with the hummingbirds mm -hmm. because i've sped up my process mm -hmm. right. with yes. experience um each each bird took me i think about two days wow. to cut out the form mm -hmm. and to carve it down mm -hmm. really nice. and um a day to paint it and what i like about these items is that they're light you can carry them the so reason the reason is they're made with a local indigenous wood called mm -hmm. loi mabui loi mabui okay. yeah which mm -hmm. has been used for centuries here on the island to make fine furniture and fine craft right so right. it's very light mm -hmm. you know the tourists like it because it's not a heavy piece yes, of mahogany yes, they have to carry yes, off it's true it's yeah. true now you have another piece which i'm looking at right now and that is like a masterpiece to me and it has a little bit of history because yes. i understood it won an award oh yes so oh, you're yes. going to tell us about that one all right so the story with this piece mm -hmm. Um, before I started painting, mm -hmm. I'm saying birds. Right. Usually my carvings would be polished, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you can't polish birds. No, no, you, you know, can't. Jehovah made them with all these beautiful feathers, yes. right? So, plus I can't paint, but I want them looking good. So I decided to ask a very good friend of mine, Kendall John, oh, to, Kendall, do yes. an, to do an audition. <laughs> I gave him a sample piece to see what he can do, and he did the parrot which Beautiful. blew my mind and blew everybody's Beautiful. mind i mean he put the right color it's it's like real three-dimensional he gave it the depth and everything he's very good very mm -hmm. good so then what i did i got got a big piece of wood if i could just bring it up we could see it one time mm -hmm. this is a whole board of loy mabwe right and um we have a heron yes the green yes. heron yes we have the purple breasted carib mm -hmm. also a green breasted carib you have the heliconia, mm -hmm. 
bamboo yes and of course the this jacko beautiful beautiful so what we, well let's let kendall tell us the rest of the story right all right so kendall tell me what was your input in this beautiful piece of work well uh, actually i did the, the painting i did the artwork a lot of people know me for video production and editing but actually right. my first love was art and yes. from the time i was uh, a little boy i was right. in the the painting, etc., mm -hmm. and so Andy approached me with this um, with this challenge, <laughs> and I've seen Andy's work, and it's been it's really phenomenal, and I, I was very happy to participate in this and right. see what we can do to to bring it to life. And, and you uh, brought it to life. You I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Well, Kendall, I heard that uh, you guys won an award with this piece. Yes, uh, uh -huh. we entered it into the National Arts Festival yeah. um, for 2000. And 12, and we, we got the award for that, so wow. we're pretty happy about that. Wow, wow, wow! Yes. So this has some pretty good history behind it. You won an award. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So it's, um, a lot of people found it. Uh, it was nice that they did a collaborative effort. They don't yes. hear many artists doing that, it's and true. so just doing that was something uh, phenomenal. True. So tell me, if um, for instance, you have a client that approaches you and they want something custom made, not necessarily the bird or floral fauna but um, they want something custom would you guys be able to do that for them yes well definitely we can sit with the client and uh, and you and myself can work together and see what right. what, is, what will be appropriate for a carving and also what will be work for a painting as well i can actually see this on a wall it would add color it would add vibrancy this is really a beautiful piece of art thank you anyway. very much thank you very much i appreciate that